Asahi Glass India Limited is a leading glass manufacturer that serves the automotive and architectural glass segments. The revenue contribution from the automotive segment is 56% and that from the architectural glass segment is 44%. The market share in the automotive sector is 74% and that in the architectural glass is 18%. Automotive aftermarket sale is around 20% of the total automotive sales. Let's now take a look at the shareholding pattern of the company. It is interesting to see a Japanese company, an Indian business family and a major auto OEM into this partnership. Asahi Glass Company Japan holds close to 22% in the company. Labru Family holds another close to 22% in the company. Maruti Suzuki India Limited holds close to 11% in the company. The three partners have successfully demonstrated a partnership that has lasted over the last several decades. Let's now speak about the cash flows for the company. The company has generated strong cash flows in the last two to three years. Capital expenditure of around Rs. 1500 crores is planned from FY23 to FY25. The point to be noted here is that the current gross block for the company is around Rs. 2200 crores. This means that a significant proportion of the current capacities is planned in the coming three years. If the company is able to maintain its asset turnover ratio, there is a very good chance of a significant jump in the revenues for the company. Margins for the company have been fairly stable and hence any jump in revenues is likely to translate directly into a proportionately higher profit. The planned capital expenditure is mainly on account of the new float glass unit and the phase two of the auto glass unit which is coming up in Gujarat. The company is also planning an interesting new greenfield manufacturing plant for solar glass manufacturing. This new plant is planned to come in partnership with Vishakha Group as a joint venture. The timeline for completion of this plant is close to 15 to 18 months. Now, let us speak a little bit about the tailwinds that the company has enjoyed in the last two to three years and is likely to enjoy going ahead as well. The government of India had imposed an anti-dumping duty on architectural glass imported from Malaysia. Asahi Glass India has benefited in the last two years due to this anti-dumping duty. Please note that this anti-dumping duty is expected to last until 2025. Secondly, China continues to focus on its pollution issues and thereby strives to decarbonize itself. Glass imports from China have been subdued due to this decarbonization drive undertaken by the country. Due to the above mentioned factors of anti-dumping duty and China's pollution issues, the demand supply equation remains favorable for domestic glass manufacturers like Asahi. Coming to the margin profile, as you can see from the screen, the margins in the architectural glass segment have increased significantly from low double digits to about 35% in the last two years. In the automotive segment, margins have unfortunately declined mainly due to the subdued growth in the sector. Speaking about the risks, any slowdown in the automotive and real estate segments is a business risk for the company because the company has significant exposure to both these sectors. However, a possibility of sustained downturn in both these segments together is an unlikely occurrence. Secondly, fuel cost is around 15% of the total cost for the company. Hence, any sustained increase in fuel prices hits the margins adversely. Speaking about the valuation part now, the company is richly valued towards the upper end of the spectrum. However, considering the growth plans and the promoter quality, chances of significant derating in valuations are low. So what's the final verdict? Let me take you back to the year 2008. During the global financial crisis, the promoters of this company supported the company to the best possible extent. 
On the downside, this business is a very capital expenditure heavy business. However, when we combine such capex oriented nature of a business with the strong credentials of a promoter like Asahi Glass Japan, it forms a good competitive advantage according to me. The best hope that investors in this company can have is that the automobile market would recover and also the company would be able to grab more market share in the floored glass segment. Do remember that the company enjoys a strong operating leverage and hence any gains in market share for the floored glass segment would lead to better margins for the company. This is all we have right now for Asahi Glass India Limited. Do not forget to check our small case and subscribe to this channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.